What's up everyone and welcome to my new video. Today I'll be walking you through day two of the full body routine I gave away in my first YouTube video. I've received many messages from people saying that they are making great progress on this routine but would like to have more detailed information on the form of a few exercises. So here we are. You may remember from the first video that each full body day in this routine has a slightly different focus. Day one is focused mainly on push exercises, day two emphasizes pull movements and day three is focused on the legs. Today we will discuss day 2 which has a pull focus, so this training day will focus a bit more on your back compared to the other training sessions. You can again find the entire routine when you visit the link in the description. I highly suggest you check it out if you're looking for a solid 3 day full body routine, but without any further ado, let's get into the exercises. The first exercise is a pull up or leg pull down that trains your back and biceps, trained in an 8 to 10 rep range. Like in full body day 1, we have two options here because some people may not be able to do pull ups just yet. As a brief recap from the last video, if you can do pull ups within the target rep range, start with leg pull downs. If you can do pull ups for 10 plus reps per set, you can try doing weighted pull ups to keep making progress. In terms of grip, I suggest using an overhand grip that's around 1.5 times shoulder width. To ensure that your back and biceps do the work during these exercises, you want to make sure that you prioritize your form and win my swinging. The second exercise in this full body session is the incline dumbbell bench press. Because of the incline angle of the bench, the resistance runs more in line with the upper fibers of your chest. This helps you focus more on training the upper pecs. About the form, first make sure you set the bench at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Research suggests this is most effective for targeting the upper pecs. For most people, around 30 degrees will be the sweet spot if training the chest is the main focus. During the bench press, you want to retract your shoulder blades and drive your feet into the ground. This provides a more stable base to press from. Lastly, tuck your elbows slightly to make the exercise more comfortable on the shoulder. The next exercise is a true back builder, the chest supported row. The reason I programmed this exercise is that it places minimal stress on the low back. Your upper body is fully resting on the bench, so your spinal erector muscles do not have to stabilize you. This is useful because we have deadlifts coming up after this exercise and you don't want to have low back fatigue when you go into deadlifts. Also, because you're pretty much locked into the bench, it's hard to use momentum on this exercise. This forces your back muscles to work harder. When it comes to execution, we again need a bench at a 30 to 45 degree angle on which you lay your chest. Once you're fully locked in, you pull the weight up while focusing on leading the movement with your elbows. The next exercise is the biggest compact lift of the day, the conventional deadlift. We will stay in the 6 to 8 rep range, so it's not an extremely heavy deadlift session. But it's still a technical exercise in which you want to remain focused and prioritize your form. In terms of how to set up a deadlift, there are two main points you need to keep in mind. Before lifting the weight up, make sure the barbell is over your midfoot and your shoulder blades are directly over the bar. This allows for the most efficient bar path during a deadlift. When you pull the weight up, push your feet into the ground and focus on maintaining a neutral spine. This may sound like a lot to consider, but it's a matter of practice. Take this video with you to the gym and just start practicing the deadlift, you'll get it right eventually. Next up, we have the leg press. On both full body day 1 and 3, we use the barbell back squat. To give yourself a mental break from squatting, we use a less fatiguing lower body push movement like the leg press. The reason you see me in a different setting in my leg press video is that I went to another gym to perform it because only this gym had the vertical leg press machine. I am not a fan of the horizontal leg press because of its poor resistance curve. The vertical leg press more effectively loads your quadriceps throughout the movement. In terms of execution, something that is critical here is that your low back is planted firmly against the seat. Just like during the squat, you don't want excessive low back rounding to keep your low back safe. When it comes to feet placement, keep your feet at shoulder width apart and put your feet on the middle of the pad. The last exercise in this workout is the tricep pushdown. In full body day 1 we train the biceps, so today it's time to give the triceps a bit more attention. As you can see in the video, I prefer to use two longer separate handles for tricep training because this allows for more range of motion. You can fully shorten the tricep by extending your arms even a little bit behind your body. But if you don't have access to two separate handles, you can also just use a rope or a straight bar attachment. The form of a tricep pushdown is pretty straightforward. You basically just focus on extending your arms while keeping your elbows locked into position. And that's all for full body workout too. I hope you found this video helpful and definitely keep up the good work if you start using the 3 day routine. This is something you can use for quite a long time if you are able to continue making good strength progress. If you have any questions about the routine then feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always if you liked the video then leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you in the next video.